Tonight, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland is speaking out about the racial injustice happening across the country. George Floyd was not the start of this problem, but I want to make him the start of this solution. Those remarks came just minutes before protesters hit the streets for the eighth night in a row in the city of Memphis. Fox 13's Kirsten Garris has been covering these protests, walking with them since they started last week. Kirsten, you're at Tom Lee Park right now. I know you spoke with city leaders and activists who plan, they say, to work together to better the city. How so? Yeah, well, the group that met with Mayor Strickland and Mike, um, Director Mike Rawlings today said they want to look at police training. But in this moment, since we're here, I do want to show you what the crowd looks like. Just take a look. They've actually been in Tom Lee Park for the past 10 or so minutes, and now they're heading back uh, towards the I Am A Man monument. And you can kind of hear the chants a little bit that they're asking for um, racist police not to be in the department anymore. And that's kind of the basis of the change they're looking for, is looking at that police training when it comes to sensitivity training, cultural training, community training. That is what they are talking about. So again, you can kind of see the crowd is thinning out. But it's worth noting, this is a different moment because a week ago today, that is when protests even started here in Memphis about George Floyd. It was not even here, the other side of town in Midtown, where they had started out peacefully. Then it went into a little bit of a disagreement with a Confederate counter protest, and then it ended the night with riot gear, ended the night with some arrests. But there was also some conversation, and conversation a week later is what people want to have with city leaders. Take a listen to what Devonta Hill had to say. Director Rawlings has committed to allowing uh, modifications in that training, even if it means adding time to the training of MPD for the sake of cultural sensitivity. Because as it stands right now, there is more training for force than there is for community. And we want to make sure that those, those two training essentials are balanced. And as you heard from Devontae Hill, they are having those tough conversations about police training and how to make the department better. As you heard from Mayor Strickland at the top of that soundbite, he doesn't want George Floyd to be the, um, he wants George Floyd to be the end, you know, the start of conversation, the start of actual solutions. So we're going to continue following these protesters as they head back to the I Am A Man statue. And also you're going to hear more from these protesters throughout the night about what they want to see, what changes they want to see in their community as we move forward. Live and down Town Memphis, Kirsten Garris, Fox 13 News.